Hi, welcome to Harp Ninja. This tutorial is an introduction to the user interface of the Tuning Dojo. Let's go into the Diatonic Tuning Dojo by way of example. Okay, it looks a little complex when we first go in, but let's just break it down. The easiest way to do this is to go from the top left and in a clockwise manner, go round the outside. And obviously the harmonica is in the middle. So let's just do that uh, by way of quickly explaining what each component is. In the top left, we have the harp key and the tuning, and that directly relates, relates to what harmonica key and the tuning of the harmonica that you see displayed on the notes. So for example, what we have here and the default one is a harmonica in the key of C, which you can see there matches this here and it's C major tuning, which you can see these are the notes of the C major scale uh, or tuning laid out here. The overblows aren't showing as explained before in the uh, main menu video. If you want to show the overblows, you can set them in the main settings. Uh, you can change the key just with the drop down there. So you can see there, we change it to G, changes there and the notes change accordingly. And of course you can change any of the tunings and we'll get into more of these later. Changing it back to C for the moment. Below that we have, uh, as part of the top, we have, you can switch between notes mode and intervals. Notes obviously showing the notes. And intervals, which I personally find easier to think in, is the interval structure uh, as related to the notes and the scales, etc., that you see there. Moving to the top here, we have the display key, position, scale, or chord. Uh, what does that mean? Well, obviously in the key, uh, a key, whatever key harmonic you have, you can play in a number of different harmonic positions, up to 12 actually. Uh, and this is where you select that key here. Uh, we'll get more into this usage later in a more detailed one. This drop down here is the scale selection box. And it pops up the scale there. You can see here is the scale note select up. If you select intervals, they'll change the interval uh, structure there. Um, below that, we have the uh, chord buttons. And this is related to the circle of fifths, which again will be done in a more detailed tutorial later. This one's just an introduction. Um, and then that's also related to the chord drop down box here, which you can select chords directly from this as well. On the right hand side, we have the transparency slider, which takes uh, everything away. So you can just look at the bare harmonica and uh, play notes directly. Uh, the zoom button here takes us, uh, removes the whole interface. So you can just focus in on the harmonica and you just have the, the slider, the transparency slider. We'll get more into that later, usage. The bottom right, we have the audio recorder, which has a 30 second loop recorder, which is really designed not for doing whole songs, but it's just for uh, checking your tonal quality and checking out the quality of your bends as you're learning, as a, as a quick reference. And on the video, on the iPad version, you have uh, video recorder buttons, which are just here below the zoom button. On the bottom of the screen, we have the pitch control, uh, pitch feedback display. Uh, this is the mic mute and unmute button. It's muted there and that's unmuted. Lock will change the, uh, will lock the pitch control at the bottom of the screen and in unlock position, it will pop up wherever you play. And on the bottom left here, we have the uh, menu buttons, which are important and we'll get into more detail on these sections in, in other tutorials. This is the circle of fifths. This is the select tune dialogue. If you want to do a uh, song playback, this is the melody dojo, where if you want to learn uh, a song by playing a little game, a scrolling uh, game, like uh, the Guitar Hero type style ones. And this is the main menu button, which takes us back to the main menu. Uh, that's all for now. We'll get into, uh, we'll go through and get into each of these sections in more detail. But just to recap, don't get confused. Just uh, in the middle is the harmonica, key, tuning, and then top left and work your way around clockwise is the best way. And then just understand each 
section as we go.